Hello everyone, Crydax here. Welcome back to Freight Forwarding. We are setting up our uranium receiving port. I just set my bots to deconstruct a bunch of rocks and trees. So that's happening. A um, couple small notes. Uh, someone had pointed out that I, and this was like many episodes ago on YouTube, but I had forgotten to filter titanium on the output of these guys. And so empty containers could have showed up. I got lucky and they never did just because, um, I guess with the way it works, it always keeps picking the same item or maybe there's some sort of priority list. So even when it wasn't filtered, I did check and I didn't see any containers on my titanium line. So that was fine. Uh, and then another thing I had realized that was a problem is when I switched my copper, I turned this one into an active provider chest, but that was supposed to be the passive provider. Um, and so I can actually change that back now. Uh, I had ended up with 50,000 copper plates in my logistics. And the one that was supposed to be the active provider was this one from, uh, what's it called? From lead. So that was a little bit of a problem. Um, I guess that should be output priority, right? Anyway, so we have plenty of copper in our logistics system for the foreseeable future. Um, <laughs> but yeah, you know, mistakes happen. Could have been worse, I guess. So, yeah, the biters continue to bite. Um, we'll have to have some sort of solution for that eventually. For now, it's fine. And coming back to the port here. Let's see. I should probably like identify this as receiving or home. This is the home port. Wait, did I not just rename it? Also, do I have two of the same thing? Wonderful. Let's do that one because it has the little sensors. Um. Okay, so the home port, let's just get that pasted again. And then this guy is ship home uranium unload. And I believe that should do it once it's connected up. <clears throat> Just manually plop those down. You need signal buoys. Uh, <laughs> trying to think what else do we need to do? I think that's it. That built. Uh oh. Now there's a bunch of copper plates coming over here. Goodness. This is gonna be a problem, isn't it? <laughs> oh my gosh. Where's all that copper coming from? What the heck? Did I screw it up again? I don't think so. I think we're okay. Lead seems to have backed up, so that's good. Okay, uh, speaking of stuff backing up, why don't we do some research? Um, what the research to do? Breaking force, don't really care about that. Anything else? I don't care about biofuel. Reinforced plates will be awesome once we're a bit richer. I do plan to do that. Um, Let's research lithium chloride. That will be a thing we'll need. Uh, we don't need air filters because we're better than that. Spidertron automation sounds pretty dope. 
Um, loading and unloading Spider-Trons through docks. That sounds super cool. Uh, nuclear power could be nice. And then everything else needs purple. Or I guess we've got a couple other ones that could do yellow. We could do advanced radars, advanced electric engines. Hmm. We could do the next worker robot speed. Let's do that. That's actually not that expensive either. Um, we'll just queue up a few things here and call it a day. Okay, uh, uranium unloading needs to be on a new belt that we will have joining the others. And then we'll probably set up module twos next because we're really getting to that point where we need them. We definitely need them. Okay. Um, and then we'll filter off uranium containers. That'll be great. We'll copy this whole setup. Put it right here. Why not? change things around to be uranium, of course. Uh, let's see. Handcraft two of those. Two to uranium. And what else do we have to do? Uh, I don't think much. Uranium, two, three, eight. Unloadify. Empty containers just go on a belt. I don't have to worry about sides of the belt because throughput's not going to be a problem. Um, okay. Is that... Did we just complete the whole, the whole loop, I think? I think I need to do the circuit condition down here, and then that's it. Maybe. Maybe, maybe. Uh, you. Uranium. And let's do less than 10. Are all the other ones correct? Rare metals. Iron. Copper. Titanium. Good, good. Good, good, good. Oh, well, I'm glad I noticed this. That's not connected. And that's not connected. What's up, Roush guy? It sure was a boat. In fact, none of those were connected. In freight forwarding, you gotta use your cargo ships to move stuff around between your islands. There goes our containers of iron. Sweet. Sweet, sweet, sweet. Um, this is bad. Why is this stopped? Ah, yes. We need to actually do something with the, the bright green glowy rocks. Let's go get that done. They will be turned into nuclear fuel eventually, but for now, we just need to store them. I'm really excited for super fuel too, or I guess it's called advanced fuel. That will be nice. OK, 
Okay. So... This is going to be a thing. And we'll load up the green rocks. And then we'll need to load up delivery drones to deliver the green rocks to uh, the other island. Once in a while. Although, given how slow it is, we might end up having... Uh-oh. Hmm. Oh, I get it. Yeah, we're probably going to need a buffer for this one, too. Because it can only do stone when it's in multiples of three. And it can get stuck for a while. But once it starts iron, it should continue iron for a while, I think. I guess we'll find out. We just have to get lucky enough to have, like, a multiple of three stone. And then once it's done with that multiple, then it'll finally grab the iron. You'd think there'd be a 1 in 3 chance. There it goes. So now it'll do iron until it's done with iron. Cool. Okay, so that's done. This is happening, albeit extremely slowly. Um, so that sounds like a good time to set up module 2s. Make plain port for shiny rocks. Done. Yeah, module twos it is. And I'm guessing we're having some research issues. What's going on? Mm, we actually are not, they're just slow because we don't have very many of them. Need those beacons. Need the beacons. And we can do red containerizers, and I feel like there was something else we were waiting for. The uh, logistics chest to automate. So now we can just do a bot mall, which means we can automate whatever we want. Whatever the heck we want. <clears throat> Containerizers, electric engines, steel plates, stack inserters. That's what it was. And containerizers. So steel plates would still be nice to grab off a belt, save the logistics bots the hassle. Um, but where? We got some serious spaghetti going on in here. There's not really any space left. <laughs> we have we've got intense. Intense spaghetti. <clears throat> Alright. Uh, do that. Take that request off. That, and then... Um, change... Oh, we don't have them on our request yet. Forty to fifty, and then trash regular containerizers, and then we shall put a condition on you. Uh, you only insert if containerizers are less than fifty, so we get rid of all the yellows over the course of time. And then we need to automate stack inserters. 
which means we need inserter parts on here. I don't even know what goes in a stack inserter, but probably, well, we know titanium goes in it. What else goes in? And red circuits, okay. So we've got red circuits there already. I'll just pilfer them. Um, stack inserter. Steel gears need to be provided. What's up, Rayclaw? How's it going? We don't need a pilfer. Steel gears. Steel gears. Shall be made here. And we probably should prod that. How fast? Is That's fast enough. We just let it build up over time. Um, just put a condition on you. Steel gears is less than... Build up. All dandy, wonderful. Glad to hear it. And look, random stuff. Put that in the storage network. Okay, so that should be stack inserters and red containerizers, assuming that all happened properly. we have any yet? No. Hmm. Oh, I'm getting all the gears that I'm making right now. Because we have a personal request for them. So, we haven't gotten any stack inserters yet. But we will. Okay, so module twos. This is gonna be, this is gonna be a thing. We're gonna have to really think about how we want to do this. So first off, they're all the same recipe. So it doesn't really matter. We don't have to show all three. We can just copy the build. One a second is probably too much, let's be honest. Oh my god. Dear goodness. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna presume beacons for this build for sure. Uh, I think we do want to make electronic components on site. Or should we just use... Hmm. I mean... I'm okay with 10 a minute. 10 a minute is enough. So, given that 10 a minute is enough, we would only need five components a second. Wait, what's going on here? This feels too small, but it's not. Okay, so module twos aren't crazy expensive, I guess. I mean, they're a lot more expensive than module ones, but module ones are relatively cheap. So that's why that's not that big of a problem. Um, so I should have done module twos a long time ago is what I'm realizing. Because they're not actually that expensive. Uh-oh. Yeah, this keeps happening. Stupid walls. Now we're out of repair packs. Um, let me start crafting a few of those to take over. And we will rebuild this. Uh, 
What's the ratio of you to you? One of these supports two of those. Yeah. So... We could... This is maybe a bad idea. But we could do it like this. No, I did that wrong. 0 0.05, 0 0.25. Oh, I can't math. It's five to one. Okay, never mind. Never mind, I didn't say anything. Um, okay, so if I want this, I need 10 and two each. So that's six. Four more. That'll be one line. Okay, that's not too bad. Um, and then got that. Those will all go on to the belt over here. And then we've got two on the end. Well, but we want a beacon in the middle, ideally. So let's move this over by one tile right there. And then we move that over. Grab from the side. And we got room for beacons. Okay, and then the red circuits will go on there. On the, on the inside. I also am realizing we do need a small amount of speed ones in a provider for certain recipes. We'll just let that fill up um, for like our personal logistics and such. Oh, and we still need green chips. How did I miss that? Um, good thing we have super long boys. Let those dudes go. I would love, and I know it's not really possible given how the game is coded, but I would love if longer inserters had their speed nerfed. Um, I think that would feel a little more fair. Okay, I mean, that works. I'll put these on a belt because we'll probably, I don't know, do something eventually with module threes. So for now, let's do that. And we're definitely gonna unlock that to like get a bunch of them. Forget, do they stack to 50 or 100? They stack to 50, so that's 600. Not enough. Yeah, that's enough. That's enough for pretty big builds. Um, that should be good enough. Okay, and then we're just going to copy-paste this three times. Or... And we'll even leave some space. Beep. And... Beep. Doodly-doodly-doo. 
<laughs> Change recipe. Rod. Rod. I guess we don't need that one because it's just last stop. The efficiencies for you guys. Bada bing, oop, no one. Bada bing, bada boom. Power them up, and that should do it. Uh, we might have a little bit of a green circuit issue, I'm imagining. And an electronic components issue. Okay. Uh, yeah, figures. Figures we got issues. Um, we should probably put components on both sides of the belt. That'll help a little bit. circuits are all happening green circuits green circuits need some help they're really locked in this is gonna be hard to upgrade um, we can at least get a little bit more oomph out of them with some prod speed combos um, and then we need 3.45 which I think this is going to be good enough. Yeah. That'll help a little bit. Not very much, but I don't know, about 20% more. But yeah, I should probably increase my green circuit production. Um, but yeah, there you go, module twos. Check, check, checklist is complete. And let's get rid of our module ones, change our logistics requests. Oh, I never had logistics requests? Really? Man, I could have sworn I did that. Could have sworn. Definitely want a hundred of each of these, though. I might even need more, but that's enough for now. Now, this is bad. We still have no red containerizers. That can't be right. Something's not getting... transported. What is the problem? Okay. Oh! Well, that'll do it. I am not placing the stack inserters into a provider. So that explains that problem. And we also want some stack inserters for ourselves. We can transition away from the blue dudes. See, definitely never want yellows again. Blues, I'll still have 50, um, but I'll probably just mostly use stacks from now on. There's really no reason to use blues anymore. These aren't very expensive. One titanium plate, two stu- yeah, these are not very expensive. Two red circuits is just not much in the grand scheme of things. I've got some robots to place in the network, and things looking pretty good. Well, separate for this spot. The attacks are getting larger. The pollution produced is increasing <laughs> steadily. Even with all the tree-eating pollution, we're still going up. Now, I've said this a million times and I'll say it again. In the production tab, there should be a total. 
it's really weird that there's not a button you can press to see all of it. Rather than a bunch of separate lines, I want to see the sum total of all the lines put together over time. It's really weird that you can't do that. It's very frustrating. Um, you know, Factorio is not a perfect game. And there's my there's my proof right there. Um, it's pretty close to perfect, though, let's be honest. Let's be honest. Now what? I guess, did we ever finish? We did. We could set up our tier 3 uh, pipes. That sounds like a good idea. And get rid of the rest of our tier 1s. Okay, so what's the difference in terms of recipes? Pretty much the same thing. You just need the blue couplers instead of the the red couplers. And the difference there is that it's steel plates plus a medium. So you do need to make the previous tier and then add the steel plates. So look at that. There's steel plates right here. So all we need to change is this stops there and instead goes up here and then you make blue objects and put those on a belt and then that is what goes down here And then we switch all these to the blue ones. Bingo, bango. And because we're building more with bots these days, I'll let these accumulate to larger numbers. And yeah, it's kind of sad, but like, rip, rip, red, uh, whatever these are called, advanced fluid handlings, because I can't do anything with them anymore. I mean, I could use them up, but what's the fun in that? And am I missing one? Aren't there five? There's only four. What am I missing? L, I, oh, I'm missing the T's. No, I'm not. That is the T. I'm missing the L. There we go. And one to twos, we want a hundred of those because those are the most frequently used because those go along the front of, you know, buildings like that. Um, and I can at least get rid of of these on the way out Place our inventory of our stuff. And that'll take a while to saturate for sure. Um, wait, five second crafting time. Can these do prod? No. I guess we could do this. Speed that up slightly. Oh, 
Okay. Looks good, looks good, looks good, looks good. Now. Now, now, now. How now, brown cow? Here's a question. Have we gotten a uranium shipment yet? We have not. What is the status? Oh, you know what? I never finished the boat programming. Uh, doesn't look like the boat has any yet. So let's see what the status is over here. We still don't even have our first container. Yeah, it's going to be a while. <laughs> it's going to be a while. We're still a ways away from Purple Science. I might just manually carry over the first container full. What's up, Lodro? Almost caught up on the streams. Nice. The series has been good. I've really been enjoying it. It's been a it's been a good balance of difficult but also doable. And the 20 times science multiplier has slowed things down to like a reasonable pace. Maybe a, a little bit too slow at times it's felt like, but you know, a little bit of challenge is good. Um I definitely think I underestimated how much science I needed at first. I should have started with a larger build than I did. And I underestimated, I probably should have done three of each for copper and iron. Maybe two for steel. So there are a couple regrets I have looking back, but not huge ones. And on that note, what do we need to do next? How's power? Power's fine. In fact, power's more than fine. Also, I'm going to delete these. These keep annoying me. Uh, how's pollution? Pollution is massive. That's why we keep getting attacked over here, is all the bases along the coast are starting to get polluted. Um, I definitely need some more trees, so let's do a couple more tree blueprints. Bada bing, bada boom. I even do one right here. That's three more chunks of trees. And yeah. Okay. And let's extend this a little bit more. One that actually has all the right things in it, maybe. Like this. Still connected, it just needs to go that. Alright, oil's been fine. I haven't had to do anything with oil in a long time. Cue my oil breaking. Honestly, I think the dragon's teeth are a little too far forwards. Um, I probably should have allowed another maybe two tiles of them being able to get shot before they run into the teeth. Because <sighs> they end up getting bunched up and then they attack the walls and then things happen. Speaking of attacking walls. Doing okay on the wall supply. I just need a bunch more repair packs and maybe some more bots. I should also have con bots to 50 in my inventory. 
Anything else that we need to do? Hmm. Can't think of anything right now. Where the bots go? Building all the trees. Now here's the question. That would be fun to math out, which I won't for y'all's sake. But how long... So a bot uses, you know, X amount of kilojoules to place the tree. Which then to produce those kilojoules makes some amount of pollution. How long does that tree take to kill the pollution or eat the pollution that the bot used to create it? Because it's definitely non-zero pollution being created by all this electricity cost. Um, definitely non-zero pollution. Okay, so I could plop down more centrifuges, but that's pointless, right? I think we're processing all of the uranium. Yeah. So at this point, we need higher tier mines and beacons for the mines. That would be next thing to do. Um... Wow, we're already up to 31, 2, 3, 5. That feels like a lot. I guess it's over half of one per minute. Ooh, there it is. Our second chest of 238. Okay, well that's what we should do then. We'll set up purple science. Setting up the purple science, and then we gotta turn on the boat. The uranium boat needs to go to uranium on the uh, there it is. Uh, empty car- nope, empty cargo. Should do it. And I want to say we actually... Uh... Isn't the provide threshold two? It is. Oh, but on our request, threshold's 20. So that means it'll never request until it hits 20. Oh, that's annoying. Um, hmm. So there's a couple ways to handle this. It, it's kind of weird. You can use combinators to separately send pulses. Uh, like once it's past a threshold, it'll send a pulse of what it wants plus the request threshold at the same time. Um, and then you can cycle through the different things you want to request and that can allow you to set a different request threshold for each item. That's one way to do it. Um, is there another way to do it? <laughs> uh, you could just have, you know, different stations, obviously. You can also set a cooldown, so it's only allowed to request once every so often. Um, yeah, things keep dying over there. Wait, yeah. I like having a request threshold of 20 for these two things. Not so much for uranium. But for now, do that just so that we get the first delivery going. Um, Rare metals down to 205,000 in the patch. 
There we go. There's our first two uraniums. Which should... What is that? 4,000 uranium? Which is 4,000 science packs? Not even factoring in productivity? So that's not bad. Let's uh, watch their journey, make sure it does things properly. Look at them go! Rocks in a box! Rocks in a box! Rocks in a box in a boat! We're not going to wait. We're just going to send you on. Cool. Okay, so let's set up Purple Psy. Um, probably going to be a large build. I'm trying to remember what all goes into Purple Science. Uranium, Red Belts, and Prod 1s. Interesting. 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 So we automated yellow 24 servers. So I guess I'll do the same. Do the same build for purple. Put it up there. Um. Our robo ports connected there. And uh, how's the bus doing here? And Dave thought we wouldn't use the bus. Look at us go. Uh, why is there not a second belt of copper? What's going on here? Oh. Um, wait, what? Oh, I moved it over one tile. That's why I'm confused. Is there still coal? There we go. Okay, that's better. Um, bus, bus is bussin'. It be bussin', yo. That's getting built. And I'll just copy. This is so ugly. Come on, I can do better than this. Can't even beacon it easily. I'll just be boring and put it in a straight line.
Okay, copper wire. Meets. Tech cards. Those meet up with uh, something else and become that belt. And that something else will probably be the 238. Definitely want prod twos. What's that? 12%. We'll get another 12% on the labs, which is, I don't know, 25, 26%, something like that. So for beacons, we're only going to need about 8,000 packs in terms of ingredients. Um. Okay, so then we need 10 transport belts. 12.8 a second, according to that building. Wow. It's actually like not a small number of uh, belt builders. Are the yellows the same rate? No, they're twice as fast. Definitely we'll have beacons. This is where uh, the super long inserters start to feel a little bit like cheating. <laughs> so you can do stuff like this, which is awesome. And then we'll still be able to fit, you know, beacons like right there, which is cool. Um, so we'll need plates and gears on a belt. One along here. And the gears are gonna be a large number for sure. Was it? Was it 12.8? Yeah, technically I need another set. Okay, how many gears do we need for all that? <sighs> wow. Iron, say goodbye. Holy Moses. Um. Yeah, because each belt is five iron, so 10 belts is 50 iron. Yikes. Um, okay, well, that's a thing. So we're going to need a separate belt uh, for just gears. It'll be a blue belt soon enough, but even then that's still not enough. Eh, a blue belt will be very close to enough for just the reds, but yeah, we're going to need... I wonder how much can one gear maker support? Need four gear makers for one red. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is starting to get a little crazy. Why don't I have another belt of gears back here? Of two, two belts of gears. 
which is roughly infinity iron. Um, it's fine. It's fine. We didn't want our iron anyway. Um, we'll just belt that back here. Look, I, I'm fully aware that my production cannot even come close to supporting this right now, um, but it's, you know, for later. So, gear making times a billion. Oh, it's one to one now. I forgot about that. Okay. So if it's one to one, we actually need two separate. Let's... If I do that, then we can fit a beacon. Yes, no, maybe. Um, if I put them on the ends. Then I do that. But go the other way. Yeah. Iron in, gears out, beacon middle. Perfect. Okay, uh, it's a little bit too close to the other stuff. I'll put that up there. Delete all this. I don't even know how many of these I'm going to need, but it's going to be a very large number. Um, I don't know. We'll start with that. And definitely have run out of RoboPort coverage. Okay, that still isn't done making. Gets me 21. So, three more. Good gravy. There's 30, okay. And uh, we're gonna want fraud on that. Jerseys. Why are we struggling? Components. Why are components struggling? Glass. Why is glass struggling? Uh, sand. Why is sand struggling? Stone. Why is stone struggling? <laughs> this is Factorio. Uh, this is Factorio. I guess we could put speed twos in uh in the mines now. I forgot power poles. I'm just gonna do the click and drag, even though it's not symmetrical and all that. I mean, it'll be symmetrical across, but it's not like equally spaced. Technically, it's more efficient though, which I guess is nice. Um, I also didn't. Sometimes Crydax didn't closeify the right number of these. Wait, not that one. 
Okay, so there's a billion gears. I believe exactly one billion is the number here. And now we can feed the monsters. Feed these monsters. Let's see. This is iron, I guess. Well, actually, no, we can just... No, I'm not supposed to steal from that iron. Okay, yeah. This looks good. I guess we'll just do half and half like that. One gets fed from the front, one gets fed from the back. I never did outputs. Um, output onto a belt. Behind everything. All right, well, that's a pretty large build. Um, it's still not running because I need iron on the front. Which, of course, this won't work, but... Because I'm requiring three belts of iron here. But it's fine. It's fine. What could go wrong? And there we go. And these do not support... One inserter where the big pull was is not grabbing from the belt. Good point. Thank you. And then we gonna need a module in Soida on prod twos. Just let that do its job over time. Same here. Okay. And I think that is where we will end the YouTube episode. With two out of four ingredients done for purple science. Um, one of them being already done. We just need to ship it. And the other one being not so much done. That one costing all the copper and stone. So we'll deal with that in the next episode. Uh, for those of you on Twitch, stick around. We're still streaming, but we'll be done with the YouTube episode. So as always, thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think down in the comments below, and I'll see you all in the next episode.